Hi, I'm Matthew Burnett, playing the character of Aaron in Agent 2. Aaron is kind of the weapons expert gun nerd employed by the facility um, to outfit the weapons platforms and convert them over to use this blue energy um, that they've discovered at this training facility. And so my character just kind of is intrigued by the, the energy that, uh, that we can utilize and harness. And I pour that into all of the different items that I develop, both for Jim, Derek's character, and, and the other characters in the film. For several years now, I've been the host and spokesperson of uh, an airsoft company. And uh, airsoft, you can think of a little bit like um, paintball, uh, but quite a bit more realistic. So the tools and blasters that we use uh, are made to look and function as close to the real, the real firearm counterparts as possible. And uh, part of the scope of work that I do is presenting products uh, on social media. My experience so far on the film has been um, kind of a mixture of you know, nerves and you know, making sure that I am accurately kind of representing the character that the writer had in mind and, you know, kind of listening to, you know, direction and making sure that I'm kind of listening to that, but also trying to retain, you know, whatever choices I've made for the character and the way I think that, you know, my character would move and react and things. And I, I think that's kind of always the, always the case. But uh, on this film, you know, um, the, the crew has been really, really uh, amazing at working together and kind of seamlessly working, you know, in, in, a, in a flow. And once they got that rhythm, you know, it took a couple days for everyone to get into a rhythm, but then once you find that rhythm, everyone works really, really well together. And uh, working on the set in the variety of different locations that we've filmed has been a really pleasant experience and uh, I've had a blast. <laughs> working with Derek it has thus far been an incredible experience. He's somewhat stoic, you know, kind of off camera, and so it's sometimes difficult to know exactly, you know, what he wants or if he's pleased with something or displeased. You know, he, in that sense, he's not really very expressive, but uh, if I've learned anything, it's, you know, when he's happy, he really doesn't say much, and so we're like, you know, that, that's, that worked out well. And then, you know, if he does have a correction or an adjustment, you know, he's uh, very straightforward with it. And it's not, you know, you don't have to decipher what he wants. He tells you exactly what he wants. And so that's been really, really pleasant to work with just because it, it takes all the thinking out of it. This, is, this has been a blast. I can't, uh, I can't wait to see, you know, what, uh, what the future holds both for Agent and for the characters in it. I'll be, I'm very interested to see what happens to all of us after, after this movie. Do we survive? Don't we? You know, what happens to the Ash? What happens to Jim? Does the rest of the crew stay with him? You'll have to wait to find out. The Kidians are an alien race that settled on Earth 500,000 years ago. They are back, Jim. The Ash has great power and is used as a weapon by the aliens. And we need you to make contact with one of them. Try to find out what their purpose is now. There are a lot of things here at the base that will defy the logic the rest of the world knows. When I saw what the Ash was capable of, I wanted to run. You should have. Let's go! In protecting the ones we love, the world can be stronger. You must trust yourself. Let's get this. Hurry!